Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another video. This time is 1000 Toys Hellboy. So, let's get started. Uh, pretty sure everybody has this right now, and everyone is equally excited for it. It's one of those things where 1000 Toys did not fail us. They gave us an excellent piece. Uh, and right now, this is the normal version. Uh, I'm waiting for the one from Dark Horse to come in. And I'm probably going to do a smaller video on that, just covering the minor differences. But this is absolutely a dope piece. Considering uh, I actually didn't own any of the Mesco stuff from before or any of the other Hellboy Action Force action figures before this. Previously, I can't speak for those. But speaking on a piece from 1000 Toys and knowing them and knowing previous Mesco stuff, I can't say the other stuff wasn't great. But I can say this is a complete work of art. So let's get started by jumping into the review. <clears throat> Hellboy looks absolutely phenomenal. It looks, to me, exactly like his comic book counterpart. It has the look, it has the feel, it has cloth clothing. Uh, everything seems to be just on title with it. The only thing it could possibly need is a BPRD shirt for when he does stuff later on or just certain adventures. That's the only thing I can honestly say that would be remotely different. But right now, this look absolutely nailed it. Um, first things first, we're going to jump into articulation. The head can look up, it can look down, it can tilt left and right for expression. So he can pretty much nail almost any and all Hellboy poses uh, that I can think of with him just standing here. Now, as far as the upper torso, now it doesn't seem like he has any sort of articulation. But if you had the 1000 Toys Killy, you know that they used the soft plastic and underneath his engineering with a skeleton. So you can actually bend him forward. And as you can see, all puffy, mush. But you get tons of articulation in there. So you can flex it how you want. The waist can actually... Uh, rotate side to side as well so it's one of those things where the only thing you have to worry about is this waist gap right here but other than that you actually have all the articulation you pretty much need for hellboy as far as the arms go it uses a actually you know what i'm going to do i'm actually going to remove hellboy's uh, arm and jacket so we can talk about the articulation very quickly and it's very easy to take off so you can have an, an actual uh, jacketless slash shirtless Hellboy without too much of an issue. And I want to talk about how they did the arms, which is really dope. The arms actually cover up the hidden articulation here. So you can actually raise the arm up with no problem. There is a butterfly joint that rotates it really far forward and pretty far back to the point where it pops out. So you got to be careful with that. But it pops right back in on this big hunky dory joint. And then you flex the plastic over which I'm going to have some trouble with. There we go. Which you flesh the plastic over and then pop right back in. And see, not an issue. It's one of those things where this is some really, really nice engineering and it goes a long way and shows in the figure. As far as his right hand of doom, it covers the same articulation on the arm part, but it's a little different here at the forearm, which has a joint that allows it to go in. And then another hidden joint here in the fist itself to rotate further in. To replicate uh, double jointedness, it can rotate up, it can rotate down, it can pretty much do everything a normal arm can do, except the really cool thing about the uh, right hand of doom is the articulated hand. So you can do thumbs up, you can have the fingers out, you can give someone a peace sign if you want, or you can give them the middle finger if you want to be, you know, a joker or plain old butthead, but it has a lot of movement. Oop. We'll get to that in a second. But I don't want to do that too soon. So let's plug this back in. <clears throat> but the right hand of Doom is dope. There's a rotating swivel on the hand as well. So again, it's not like you're not getting the maximum range for the right hand of Doom. It doesn't hinder anything at all. So they definitely accompanied for all of that, which is really, really dope. Here on the arm, it's the same thing on the left arm. It's just normal. But you don't get articulated fingers, obviously. But it's all really, really cool. As far as the lower torso goes, you can rotate it left and right. Swivel it opposite of that of the upper torso. The horseshoe is actually soft plastic. So you don't have to worry about it getting in the way when you want to lift the leg up. There is a thigh swivel for the upper part of the thigh. There is also a boot swivel. And you can rotate the foot forward, backwards, and it has generous ankle pivot that rotates really nicely. So if you want to get in a crazy stance for Hellboy where he's getting ready to cock back for a punch and prep himself... You can easily nail that. Looking up, you can look downward. 
Let's see if he can do the point and punch the ground. So yeah, he can even do the ground pound technique everybody loves so much. You might want to fold that arm back a little, but you can use it for a bunch of different things. So this is one of those things where figure wise, I don't think this figure could be any better in terms of the articulation. The look, obviously people wanted more of the paint apps applied for the darkness that applies to Manola's look. But uh, I'm pretty sure you can fill those in with a Gundam marker, wherever you want, because they're all there. Just my, not as dark as some people like. Uh, the tail itself, it is a uh, semi-soft plastic, but not completely soft. And it holds them up very well when in terms of balancing. You can actually rotate the tail as well. You can rotate it up and you can pop it off very easily. Just be careful about it under the belt because sometimes it gets caught under there. So just be a little careful of rubbing. <clears throat> Next up, if you have the exclusive version coming, you can actually take these out and replace these. Ooh. One got stuck. With the other horns, if you want, or when you're swapping faces with Hellboy, you actually could do the same thing. So keep that in mind for that. I'm going to plug these right back in so he doesn't look crazy. And these take a little bit of effort because I'm getting used to uh, plugging those in. Because I got to remember which side is which. They, when they're not plugged in, they actually look alike. So I have to try to match them up. There we go. And you're going to plug with them looking towards outward to plug in. Real quick though, I want to jump into the jacket. The jacket was really well made. Uh, it doesn't look like much, but it's one of those things where it's simple. It's fine. It's wired throughout the uh, part where it's supposed to zip, so it can hold the pose. When you want to pose it back, it goes back. No issues. Jacket is nice and simple. Uh, I'm going to leave Hellboy shirtless for a while because <laughs> everybody knows he has several looks, and this is one of them. So I'm going to leave him looking cool in the background. Even the rosemary bead is really nice. It's just little things. And the rosemary bead is removable as well. So with Hellboy in the standard version, you get his pretty much frowny pouty face, which is really nice. Looks really good. You get a left open palm, uh, left open palm, excuse me. You get a relaxed left palm. And you get a hand for his gun. The gun looks really nice. <clears throat> it's obviously, uh, I think it's missing that whole, it doesn't have the look of the pizzazz, but it's very comic accurate. So if you're looking for like the six shooter one, it's not happening. But this one has a really large barrel that you can pretty much stare down or put effect parts into if you wanted to. And it holds it really well. So once it's, one of those things that when it's on there, it's on there. So it even, but it removes easily as well. One of the things I didn't go over until I wanted to do it yet because I wanted to cover it is the pouch that holds the gun right here in this spot. Uh, <laughs> in my excitement, I actually messed mine up. So I wanted to make sure I got it right. But when you are opening this and taking this out of package or when you want to add the holster, don't flip it up from this way because it's actually glued here at this spot. You're going to actually remove it from this part. That's what you're going to do. And when you place the weapon inside, you do it from there and then you just slot it in and then place it back over. When you're popping this in, try to wait to make sure the ball joint goes all the way through. Because sometimes you'll push it to where it pops out. And that was just me and my excitement being a little too fast. Uh, I actually messed mine up. But thankfully, I have the special edition one coming. So what I do is, because I've messed up my piece in here as well, which is this red piece. Uh, it's not glued in anymore. So what I do is I hold it with my finger. Just kind of squeeze it in. And I pop that off again. See? Too excited. But I want to make sure you guys know all about it. So now it's in. There we go. This seems to be the only thing I have trouble with. And I got unlucky with breaking mine. But it's not too much of a big deal. You can just glue it back. But this is an absolutely wonderful piece. Um, I really personally don't have any issues with it. My only minor gripe is something that I did myself, which was break my pouch. I can't really blame anybody else for that. 
Otherwise, this piece is really the bang for your buck here. If you love Hellboy, this is a must-have add to your collection. Easily, in my opinion. Um, but real quick, though, we're going to jump into size comparisons. Get that going. And the first thing I want to size him up with, so you guys know, uh, I don't have a Starman, obviously. But if you guys do have Batman of various difference, I'm gonna, I chose the Mafex and a Mezco. It seems to be what everybody has in the SHF. But the Mezco, I mean, I'm sorry, the Mafex and the SHF stand close to the same height. But if you definitely want to get your Hellboy Batman crossover going, these two look really well next to them. Either one will do just fine. The Mezco one seems to fit the aesthetic and uh, the look of the time from the book. So if you have that, you definitely know where you're going with that. Or you can mix it up. It's really up to you. Next up, we're going to compare him to some other 1000 Toys homies. So real quick, we're going to go with uh, Ethero. So here's Ethero. Who sometimes falls over because his foot base. But that balancing act is easy for me. Here he is next to Killy. And then a 1000 Toys Synthetic Human. So as you can see, Hellboy kind of towers over all these guys. Despite everything going on, he is a much larger and much bigger figure. Larger than life in some cases. Here he is next to a Mythic Legions. Here he is next to Hasbro's Lightning Collection. Because you never know where crossovers can really take you. It's your world. Enjoy it, right? Next up, we have a Marvel Legends Spider-Man. Man, these joints are tight. I got to heat that up. Right? Marvel Legends Spider-Man. An SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Cougar. The red team. Red team! Well, red and black team in this case. Here he is next to a Mezco Blade. And here he is next to an Articulated Icons Ninja. So overall, this Hellboy is phenomenal. At least in my opinion, you get the bang for your buck. You get something that's comic accurate. And you get something that leads towards the likeness of something you've wanted for ages. Especially if you missed out like I did back in the old Mezco uh, Hellboy days. I missed out on all of those. So, here we have it. If you bought the exclusive one, you kind of already know what you're getting into. You get the bonus Excalibur. I think you also get a bonus hand as well to hold the sword. And you get the new horns. So, as always guys, hope you found it informative. I hope you enjoyed. But most of all, I hope you do good, be good, drink your water guys. Later.